Welcome to Pro Tools Expert, my name's Dan Cooper. In this video, I want to show you a very cool synth bass instrument from Loop Masters. This is called Bass Master, and it's a lot of fun, especially if you've got a subwoofer in your studio. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I'll give you a very quick show around the UI, and then we'll run some MIDI through it so you can hear what this thing can do. As you can see, I've got Bass Master running in Pro Tools, but sadly, it's only available at the moment in VST and AU. So if you do want to use this in Pro Tools, then I suggest you get yourself a plugin that can host either VSTs or AUs, such as Blue Cat Audio's Patchwork. Before we go any further, I strongly suggest you get yourself a decent set of headphones or plant yourself in between good set of studio monitors in order to hear the full effect of this video, because you ain't going to hear much of what this instrument can do on an iPhone or a tablet. So Bass Master, we've got two main layers that we can use in this. We've got top and sub, a fader for each, and we can load a sample for each over here on the left, top layer, sub layer, and we've got plenty of samples here to choose from. ADSR for the top layer, attack and release for the bottom, and this rather ridiculous octave shift here, minus one being one octave down or plus one being an octave up. I'll play you the minus one later. It's pretty rumbly. As I said earlier, we've got the faders for both, so we can mix maybe more sub layer or less. Filter section on the right, LFO below that. Pitch mod wheel on the left hand side here, and we can set the mod to these controls below here. So we've got plenty to choose from, you know, pretty basic stuff. We could have the cutoff on this for instance, along with a couple of other controls. Glide at the top here, Legato Portamento. Layer effect section here in the middle. Distortion, personal favorite here of mine, as you'll hear later. And a master effect section here over on the right hand side, which gives us extra oomph in the low end if you choose. Top, middle, and the amount of what they call the frequency booster. And of course, the far right master output. Now this is quite important, obviously, because if you keep boosting stuff within the instrument, there's a good chance that you'll clip your track. So. Let's have a little play around with some of these controls and see if we can get something sounding really, really big. I'm going to start with the first preset here, 808 Riser. This isn't just the sub layer. Drop it an octave. Bring the top in. Now you can kind of hear that the top layer is starting a little bit later. We can adjust the sample start so we can tighten that right up. Let's actually change the sample. Bring the attack down. Have a quick play around with some of these layer effects. Maybe a little bit of chorus. Over on the master effects section, increase the bottom. Play around with a cutoff. Now this is quite a simple plugin. Everything you need is really right in front of you for synth bass work, which is nice. So let's hear how this sounds in the context of a mix. I'm gonna do two layers. Let's do one first being just a sub legato layer, and then we'll go to another instrument where we've got a little bit more movement. Let's go straight for the master effects, bring the bottom up. Add some distortion. Slow the attack down. So let's have a little play around with the second instrument I've got here. It moves a little bit more than the first subby one. And I've got some rough settings going here. Bottom end's nice on it, but I think it's going to clash with the sub. Let's just put that in with it in isolation. Bit too much. So let's use this octave control here on the sub layer. Let's bring that up an octave. More like it. Let's take some of the bottom away in the master effects. Bring the top out. Chorus. Maybe a bit of reverb. Try that in the context of the mix. Bring the top out on the second synth. Yeah, 
yeah, it works quite nicely. Bit of glides. Anyway, I hope you guys got something from that. As I said earlier on, this is a really, really simple instrument to use. It's really focused just for synth bass work. You've got everything that you need in one place. You know, there's no learning curve to this. And I think it's reasonably priced as well. Yeah, around 70 pounds, you can't go too far wrong. If you use a lot of synthesizers, then you're gonna wanna check this out. Let us know your thoughts on Bassmaster in the comments below. I'm Dan from Pro Tools Expert, and I'll see you again soon.